A judge denies a request to delay the trial of a former youth program volunteer accused of drugging and molesting boys. That trial is scheduled for November 1st after already being delayed once before. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Good to have you here tonight in May. Ted investigates Jenna Bourne, uncovered that years before the volunteer's arrest, leadership at his mosque was told about accusations of inappropriate behavior in another state, but continued to allow him access to kids anyway. Jenna was the only reporter in the courtroom today. This is the first time Ehab Gonaim wasn't in the courtroom for one of his hearings. Every other time I've been here for a hearing of his, he's been here too. Keep in mind, his trial was originally set for August 23rd. I think for us, we're just we just need a little bit more time to be able to cross our T's and, and dot our I's so that we can get everything together. And I think we're trying to work in sync with that Judge Michael Andrews denied Ehab Gonim's lawyer's motion to delay his trial for a second time. What's going on? You're under arrest. Gonim was arrested more than a year ago in August 2021 on three charges of unlawful sexual activity with a minor and one molestation charge. We're giving some goodie bags for the kids, wanna, boys and girls. This is awesome. He spent years as a youth program volunteer at the Islamic Society of the Tampa Bay area. Last year, boys told police Gonim sexually abused them during sleepovers at his house in this Pinellas Park neighborhood and on overnight trips out of town for events like Islamic youth conventions. Police records show those boys reported Gonim would give them pills, get into bed with them, and touch them inappropriately while he thought they were asleep. Gonim's lawyer, Jeremy Clark, said there are about 25 witnesses in this case and only half have been deposed. Depositions are when lawyers gather sworn testimony from witnesses outside of court without a judge present prior to trial. While some witnesses were no-shows, the state attorney's office also blamed Gonim's defense attorney for canceling others. The bottom line is that depositions have been set and have been canceled for months now. Judge Andrews told Gonim's lawyer he should have been filing motions to compel or exclude no-show witnesses and refused to delay the trial. It seems to me the failure to file a motion to compel uh, to a great degree makes you complicit in, in, the, uh, in their failure to participate in the process itself. And I don't want to be... a uh, involved in trying to help lawyers do their job if they're not trying to help themselves. The judge told the lawyers to come back to this courthouse on Friday, October 28th. We'll be there too. Reporting in Clearwater, Jenna Bourne, 10 Tampa Bay. Now Jenna uncovered that in 2017 and again in 2020, a former employee came to mosque leadership with reports accusing Gonaim of inappropriate contact with kids in New Jersey. The mosque administrator told police he wasn't able to prove the accusations were true, so he allowed Gonaim to keep volunteering with the youth program. You can watch Jenna's full investigation on our YouTube channel, The Deeper Dive. To make it easy for you here, open your camera app on your phone or tablet and point it at this QR code. A link will pop up to take you directly to our YouTube channel, The Deeper Dive. That channel is home to Jenna's investigative series, What's Brewing, and more exclusive content.